selamat datang di channel Auli Persdoba. Terima kasih banyak pada Anda semua yang telah hadir di channel ini. Semoga Anda semua selalu berbahagia dan selalu ada dalam berkat kesehatan, juga lindungan dari Tuhan yang Maha Kuasa. Auli Persdoba akan temani waktu Anda selama beberapa menit ke depan. Video kali ini kita akan lihat Dua gitaris luar negeri memeriksa cover Alibata 6 dari Linkin Park. Seperti apa keseruan mereka? Langsung saja kita cek bersama. What's up, Ali Purse? Thanks for joining us today. I'm excited because my friend Kurt here has never heard of Elite Bata. That's never, right. Never heard. But he's no stranger to music. Now, Kurt is a professional musician. He plays over 100 shows a year. I mean, Kurt, you wow. you, you kill it when you're out there, right? <laughs> yeah, play, stay busy. Now, tell me, you play a lot of cover. You do originals, right? Like right. you got your own music. I'm, I'm going to put links in the description below. You can check out his, his music. He writes about... Uh, local culture and history and rock and roll stuff but Kurt when you're doing uh, a cover song mm -hmm. if the song is on the original songs on an electric guitar what are some of the challenges when you try to do that on acoustic guitar well I think the the coolest thing is is to make the song like it is but at the same time uh, strip it down and make it make it my own so it's still wow. recognizable as the original, but yet it has a, a unique flair to it that, that gives it a different perspective than normally you would hear. So take it and make I it your own. Yeah, That's yeah. the key, right? Because right. if you try to do it exactly the same, uh, but on an acoustic guitar, it doesn't translate, right? It doesn't translate. All right, so... <laughs> So I think you're going to like Elite Vata because that's what he does. He takes a, a, a melody, a song, he makes it his own and just makes it come alive on the acoustic awesome. guitar. So uh, what do we got tuned up here today? We're going to look at Numb by Linkin Park. Now, are you familiar with that song? <laughs> I'm very familiar with that song. <laughs> now, you know, what, apa -apa suka, the first ya? thing you think is not acoustic guitar when you think of that song right no I, I don't think of acoustic at all uh, but af now that you say after after he plays it I may start playing it myself ah well we'll see <laughs> we'll see we'll see all right well here let's get uh, hooked in here and see all right see how we can do
that's beyond <laughs> that's beyond anything I could I could even wow. remotely have dreamed of doing. But a couple of things. One, his ability to have a vision for how to put that together is is insane. It's it's beyond incredible that he he could figure out how to orchestrate that, and then his touch whereby he's doing all those harmonics, and then at the same time he's chording. Uh, he's, yeah, yeah, that, that is very difficult to do, right? Like, and he, he's chording, he's got the harmonics, and he was bending them. Yes. Like, above yeah. the nut. <laughs> yeah. Like, What's and it, it's just flawless. Flawless. Like, like I, I, you know, I, I, it takes me sometimes <laughs> 30 or 40 takes to get, like, a 30-second little clip. Yeah. And, and that's something I've known for years right mm -hmm. like a song that i've known for a long time takes me 30 or 40 times to get it exactly right and three minutes just flawless, flawless. and put in yeah. the, like that big long run the, yeah it's, I, I would be curious to know is how he envisions how he comes up with the orchestration His creative process the creative that, process yeah. behind that is he's listening and one day he goes hey I think "Numb" would be a great song on acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah, right. Where does that? <laughs> and come? it was beautiful. It, it, I, I, I'm, I like it better like that than I do the original. I, I you wow. know, I think you're right. I, I, I grew up in that song was like on the radio all the time. But that, I can just, I can just relax. So that, I mean, I, I would love to have. I'd love to have a copy of that just, just to listen to all the yeah, time. Wow. Yeah. Now, what are your, what are your predictions? How much musical training you think he's had? Well. Uh, with someone like that, you would think that they've had years of ear training, years of classical training. Uh, I would think that Some these techniques, technique training, to, tons yeah. of yeah. tons of schooling yeah. and theory. I would think. Well, what, what do you what do you think he does for a living? Well, I'd say he's probably a guitar teacher. He's a forklift driver. <laughs> <laughs> he's a forklift it's a driver. Yeah. He could be on tour right now around the world. Uh, going out and doing his thing. Nah, he just he just does his thing, you know, sitting sitting at home on his or on his breaks at work. Is that true? Uh, I might have heard that. I don't know. This is America. Yeah. Like, come on, America, wake up to this guy, right? Like he's yeah. phenomenal. America. He's phenomenal. This this guy is truly an undiscovered genius for America. I'm sure he's big in Indonesia, maybe, but. He should be big here. He he should be renowned here. That that's wow. incredible. All right. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> Proses kreativitas yang luar biasa katanya. Sekelas musisi saja sampai geleng-geleng dan garuk-garuk kepala. Bagaimana menurut Anda? <laughs> Cek link di bagian deskripsi dan kunjungi reaksi original mereka. Sampai di sini, Auli Perstube menemani waktu Anda. Semoga Anda semua terhibur. Dan sampai jumpa lagi di video berikutnya. Salam, Auli Perstube.